Well, I just figured out what's going on with Biden. Not only, not only is he clearly taking uppers, which other people have said he's addicted to Adderall. Trump said that. And it makes sense too, because anybody that knows that experience knows that after like four days, you come down really, really hard. So that's why you see Biden falling asleep on himself. He's coming down. And then there's this picture, which is on the Ron Paul Institute for Peace and Prosperity's website. Look at Joe, look at Joe Biden's face. What I see right there is a trance. He's in a trance. Obviously, this is MK Ultra. So who is Biden's handler? Obama or Mrs. Biden? Dr. Jill. Who is Biden's handler? Clearly, there's MK Ultra going on. He's clearly in a state where he's always on. And then when he's off, he makes mistakes at the microphone. He trips and stumbles. He can't remember what he's talking about. He mumbles and slurs through his words because he's so tired from being awake for three or four days. That's my guess. Because I've done that. <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about. So that's what it looks like to me. But when you look at Biden's face, he is gone. He's not even there. He's, he's receiving a transmission. And he's trying to figure it out in his head and make it happen in real time to his tongue, which trips all over itself because he's reading a teleprompter at the same time. And clearly he's having a hard time getting those in sync. You can tell that by watching him, right? He's not just the 80-year-old guy. He's actually a very smart person. And if you look at his so-called presidency, which I refuse to admit that that's legitimate, but he's the guy in the White House anyway. So right now he's contributing to war crimes, crimes against humanity, genocide, ethnic cleansing in Israel with Netanyahu. So clearly Joe Biden is also a Zionist because he's representing the Zionists in America. Those are not regular Jewish people. Jewish people don't like Zionists. Zionists are anti-Semitic. So you'll read, you can read it for yourself. They're in Germany. They're, in, they're everywhere. The Zionists in Germany right now are encouraging the slaughter of children in Gaza because Israel, quote, has a right to defend itself, end quote. But Palestine doesn't. Gaza doesn't. The West Bank, anywhere that Israel decides to go and throw bombs, which they got from America and the UK and all these other countries all over the world, they're all contributing to the terrorism. But not one of those people said, oh, well, here, let's give weapons to the other side. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, they did. That's why there are weapons on both sides. How do you think Palestine or people in Gaza who have been bombarded and put through apartheid situations for decades, how do you think they came up with the money to buy the weapons they have? They probably couldn't. So somebody must have gave them those weapons, right? Such as the United States, who is notorious for arming and financing both sides. Back to World War II, that happened. Vietnam, that happened. Look at any war, and that's probably what happened. It was probably a proxy war. And the United States and the other usual suspects were arming and financing both sides. So when you see Biden, he's kind of just like smiling his way through interviews. He is gone. He's not even there. And what about Anthony Blinken, who does not blink? That guy is a sociopath. He, he doesn't even blink. Look at all the protesters that sat behind him and just raised their red palms covered with red paint to represent the blood of Gaza. He didn't even blink an eye. Anthony is not blinking. He might even be dead. But Biden, I would say I've seen two or three people so far in this cabinet and this administration that are in a trance. And clearly they're reading a script and they're in a trance while they're reading a script. So remember that. And then go do some research on what's called MK Ultra, And then maybe you'll see what I'm seeing.